The book of Hebrews is not just talking about enduring for that breakthrough in your life. And then you, then you can coast. The book of Hebrews is not talking about just enduring for the revival. I want to endure for the revival. I want that breakthrough because I want the multitudes to come to salvation. But beloved, that's not going to sustain you in your inner life. That's not going to sustain your faith. That's not going to answer the questions that you have about God. The book of Hebrews was written in a time when revival was breaking out and persecution was breaking out. Both were happening simultaneously. And these early church believers, these early believers were in a crisis. They were in a crisis and they wanted to draw back. And in the writer of Hebrews, he begins to exhort them, even in chapter 10. And he says, yeah, Messiah isn't coming right now. The millennium is not going to happen right now. This is basically what he's saying. Even in the midst of the revival, he's going, but don't lose your heart. Don't lose your faith. And he goes on in chapter 11 and he starts to describe what faith is. Now, I want a real faith. I don't want some mind over matter. Like I'm a realist. You know what I mean? The last thing I want to do is get to heaven and realize that I've just been playing a bunch of mind games my whole life. That's the last thing I want. I want truth and I want reality. It says in chapter 11 of the book of Hebrews that faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. There's an evidence. There's a faith in this dark and fallen age, in this age that is perverse. You, you yourself are the evidence that there's more. You, the fact that you're sitting in this room and you believe in an invisible God because it was written on your heart and it's written on the stars and it's written every morning as the sun comes up. God is here, God is faithful and all men are without excuse because we all know that there is a God. The very fact that you've said yes to him and you're sitting in this room, you're talking to a guy you cannot see. Hello. <laughs> That's evidence there's something out there. And this has happened throughout the centuries. There has never been a time in history where there were not a group of people who were talking to the invisible one. For the only the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. The very fact that you are talking to Jesus, who you have never seen, but yet you believe is evidence. It's substance. It's evidence. 